Trump's charity acted more like a checkbook for his campaign, according to the New York Attorney General, who announced an agreement today with the president's attorney to dissolve the controversial Trump Foundation. Barbara Underwood blasting what she called a shocking pattern of illegality. The foundation, she argues, used to help the president politically. The lawsuit points to 2016 appearances like this one. We just cracked six million dollars, right? Then candidate Trump giving out donations to veterans right before the Iowa caucuses. A Washington Post investigation reveals other donations had benefited the Trumps. Its biggest one ever helped restore a fountain outside a Trump hotel in 1989. The smallest? $7 to the Boy Scouts. Exactly the enrollment fee the year Donald Trump Jr. was 11. $10,000 was spent on a Trump portrait that became a punchline for political opponents. The other candidates' foundation took money other people gave to his charity and then bought a six-foot-tall painting of himself. Tonight, the attorney for the Trump Organization defended the foundation and the $19 million he says it's distributed to more than 700 charities. The statement, accusing the New York Attorney General, a Democrat, of an attempt to politicize the agreement and pointing out the foundation's been trying to dissolve ever since Donald Trump won the 2016 election, something New York State prevented as it pursued its investigation. So what happens to the remaining money in the foundation? It'll be distributed only to charities the state deems reputable. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.